Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Scorpius HD. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking you guys on a full in-depth tour and review of this 2011 Dodge Challenger SRT. This color is called Green Envy and I absolutely love how this car looks. It makes it pop out so well in the sunlight and it looks so good. Also, I noticed this car also has some cool black stripes going across the hood and also the rear fender and also on the side of the car. It makes it look so good. I absolutely love this color. Anyway, without any further ado, Let's go ahead and get straight on with the tour. It's like I said in the intro, this car is finished off in green Envy, and I think it looks absolutely incredible, especially with these black stripes. This car is powered by a 6.4 liter V8 with 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. And with that 6.4 liter V8, you can expect a zero to 60 of 4.8 seconds. This car is offered with two different transmissions. You could either get it with a five-speed automatic or a six-speed manual, like this car. All DOS Challengers are rear-wheel drive, this car has a weight of 4,170 pounds. This car has a length of 198 inches, has a width of 76 inches, and has a height of 57 inches. Fuel capacity wise, you could expect 14 miles per gallon in the city and 23 out in the highway. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the front end of this car. And now everybody knows this front. It's been on the Challenger ever since this generation came out. And it's very, very familiar. And one cool thing, this is the SRT model. So it has this really, really large front chin spoiler with the SRT badge right in the front grille. It looks so good up here up front. And I really do like how the Challenger SRTs look front front. So now we move on to the rear of the Dodge Challenger SRT. And I must say, very, very familiar. You even see this exact same style, even in modern Challengers. Of course, you got this nice look at light bar along the back. However, in the modern Challengers, the light bar has been slightly redesigned, but it doesn't look much different from how this one looks. Of course, you also got the SRT8 badge on the rear spoiler. Talking about the rear spoiler, the rear spoiler just looks awesome. It makes this car look incredibly sporty, and I absolutely love it. And of course, you also got the nice looking dual exhaust in the back as well. And those exhaust pipes really make this car sound amazing. Take a listen. Now let's go ahead and start talking about wheels and tires. So now this car has 245 width tires in the front and then 255 width tires in the back. And of course with 20 inch rims and Brembo brakes in this bright red. Makes these wheels look a whole lot better, especially with this color. And this rim design just looks so good. I just absolutely love this five spoke wheel design. It looks so good. Now normally I don't really talk about the gas cap, but look at this gas cap. It looks so retro. You actually see the exact same design even on the older Challengers as well. And it looks such a good retro design. Now normally I don't really feature gas caps all that much because, I mean, come on, it's just a gas cap. But still, just look how retro and how cool this one looks. Now we move on to the inside of the Dodge Challenger. Under SRT and now the first thing you notice is the interior of this car just looks absolutely incredible. You have these really nice looking classic gauges. They're white and they look so good. And also the steering wheel, it feels so nice leather and plastic in the middle. And it's a really nice steering wheel to hold on to. And I absolutely love it. And the seats, they feel amazing. They're leather, but they're nice thickly bolstered. They, they're designed to really hold you in place whenever you're going around corners really really fast and of course on those seats you have the srt badge with a little green with a little bit of green on them they just doesn't bring a little bit more texture from the exterior into the interior and of course on the dashboard you have the challenger srt logo and also in the floor mat you have the challenger srt 8 logo and of course the coolest one is in the door sill the, they actually have the indentioned indented challenger logo in the door sill and fun fact about that that actually lights up as well. And that's absolutely incredible. Now, I'm talking about the screen, there isn't really too much about the screen. I played around with it before I started filming this review. And there isn't really too much anything, there isn't really too much um, weird things inside the screen. So I'm not gonna go into that. However, there is one interesting thing about the screen though. If you press close open, the screen actually folds down and then the disc is actually revealed. That is what I think should be in every single car, hidden um, CD, CD slot, to where you don't have to take up any of this, um, you know, where you have to clutter up the store, uh, inside of this car. And just like, you don't have to do that. You, you can just put it behind a screen 
and you can hide it. This kind of reminds me of the Corvette C7 um, screen that folds down to have to view that um, reveal that hidden storage compartment. But I must say that's still really cool to see on the uh, screen here. Moving on to the um, dials, the dials are kind of like the dials are pretty interesting. Of course, you, on the far left you got the fan speed dial. Of course, in the middle you got the temperature dial, and of course you also got the mode dial on the far right. But and one interesting thing, this kind of reminds me of a new Camaro. You push down, then you twist the outer border to adjust to different modes. And of course, as you can see, as I move these dials, they actually adjust. That's really, really cool. And of course, you also, in the underneath here, of course, you got two blank buttons that don't do anything. Of course, you also got the hazard light button in the middle. And you also got the traction control off button as well. Let's not press that. This car does have heated seats and then you can actually set a certain temperature for each, for each side. So let's say the driver wants to have a certain amount of heated seat, but you can actually set how much you want for the driver's side as well. And I just think that is absolutely incredible. And again, I think all cars should have it. Another really interesting thing y'all may notice, this car does have a sunroof and it is really, really cool. Just like you would see even in a Honda Accord. And one interesting thing that I did not know about this car, this car also has sunglass holders check this car out this car actually has sunglass holders in here i've never seen this in a sports car like this that's absolutely incredible i've seen that in a cadillac escalade but i've never ever seen that in a especially in a car sports car like this and you also of course got your um, sun visors which they look just like any other sun visors so i'm not going to go into those of course you also got your glove box which looks just like any other glove box as you can see of course you also got your center console storage lid and it looks really really cool and you also got a really interesting storage compartment right in between right behind the shifter you have this you also got two cup holders as well then you also got this really nice looking small storage compartment so you can store some small things and have easy access to it so that's pretty much all of the basic stuff on this um really on the inside of this car everything else is pretty much standard just like what you would see in any other car but of course whenever you want to start up the car it's always and it's always an event when you start up the car of course i got the key right here of course you start it up just like you would any other manual transmission foot on the clutch the thing is that normally you would have to just press the button this one you got to hold it down you press and hold down the button car fires right into life and boy does it sound good and so that's the 2011 dodge challenger srt and now it's time for the fun part it's time to go get this car out on the road to see how it drives. Let's get this car out on the road. So this is gonna be the very first time ever driving a manual Challenger. All right, y'all, let's try this again. Oh yeah, that shifter does feel really good. Now it's been a long time since I've last been inside of a manual, and I must say, now, one, now there's usually only one issue that I have with driving manuals, that's breath matching. So hopefully I can get the breath matching part pretty good. If not, what I usually do is I just pop it in manual, then I, once I get to the stop or in neutral, then I'll just, I just slow down to get to, I get to the stop and pop it back in first. Wow, this thing does feel really, really good. I would be using my mount right now, but my mount is terrible. I need, I need to get a new one. Brakes are pretty responsive, I'll say. Wow, that was half throttle. Now, you can, now you guys can tell I'm not the best manual driver. This has been a long time since I've been in one. The shifting is very, very easy. I have, you are right, the shifting is very, very easy. Oh yeah, this thing drives incredibly well. Like, like I said, y'all, not the best manual driver, so don't... <laughs> I already know, I'm already going to be seeing a lot of comments in there. I don't think you're a bad manual driver. I'm sorry. I don't, see, I don't actually own a, man, a manual car, so I don't get to get out of the manual very often. I was just taught one time, and then I just have to deal with it. There we go. Responsiveness of the steering. It's a dead, dead flat. Man, it's so dead flat. And luckily, on this road here, or once I get on Airport Road, and there's a nice road that I like to take cars on that has a, has a pretty cool, gets pretty good turns on it, so I can try to off turn, turn it there and handle it there. Alright, I'm gonna push it pretty hard here. There we go. <laughs> that wheel spin got up. That wheel spin really caught up there. Wow. That was incredible. Oh yeah, this thing really does pack a punch. But what I did is all that you hear from right behind you is absolutely incredible. I love it. 
Oh yeah, and notice the steering. It is so damn close. I mean, I'm barely turning it when it's going around the corner. Now, I like the Demon. I don't think it's, I didn't drive the Demon because that was a good flight. That was, that was a good flight. That was a different thing. But the Demon, what I just did there, that's probably what, like, whenever I scored it, going on the airport road, that's probably what it felt like, that, like, quarter drop. I was actually, I don't think I've ever been so scared to drive a car. It was just a lot. The thing is, with this car here, I don't feel nervous at all driving it. I really don't feel nervous at all. All right, I found the car, I found the car right up here. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so, so dead flat. And so that's the Dodge Challenger SRT. And I must say, this car is absolutely incredible. So much fun to drive, so fast. Steering is so direct. Shifting is so easy. Rev matching is pretty easy. And also, this car can get a little squirrely at some times, but I must say, it is still a lot of fun to drive even when it does that. It's such a fun car to drive, and I highly recommend it. And also, hey, can I review one of your cars? And tell me in the comment section down below, DM me on any of my social medias, or direct email me to landon52604 at gmail.com saying hey you can check you can come check out my car and then hey then i'll come review your car as well and anyway guys if you guys did enjoy please make sure you guys go hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and also go ahead and go drop a like on this video to support me in the channel also guys just um subscribe to all my other youtube channels which are going to all be linked in the description box down below as well as also all my social media and anyway guys thank you all so much for watching today's video Peace out.